Our next speaker is Madeline Ho, who organizes the Recycle uh, Circus every year. And Madeline's going to tell us talk about zero waste and the climate. Thanks, Bing. Hi, folks. Um, I'm so glad to be here today and be part of this global sort of effort to raise awareness around the 350 um, issue. Um, one of the things I appreciate most about today is that it's happening around the planet and that we coordinated it and we're co this activity, but we're also cooperating. And I think that is such an important part of what we're trying to do. Uh, there's these cups that we've been using for water and plates that the Latino Photography Project is using. These are uh, recyclable cups, they're reusable, and please do not throw them away. If you see them blowing around, we do um, rewash them, and there's crates where you can put these items. Um, I have a couple of different uh, reasons for supporting this effort. One of my, um, the things that I'm most passionate about is zero waste. Um, from an artist point of view, I've always been drawn to um, the chaos of garbage and waste and trying to um, take the, the chaos and make it systemat systematically process it and make it into something um, meaningful and that visually is more interesting. Um, and so that's where I started my work out here in Point Reyes. Um, I have over the years taken on a couple of different roles. Um, I'm on the school board, but I also am the waste education coordinator for West Marin. And I also am the artist in the schools director. As the waste education coordinator sitting on a school board, um, one of the things that I see for the county of Marin that is sort of a disconnect is the role modeling that happens for young people in our nation. Um, I sit on a school board where we still buy rafts of plastic water bottles and we still eat our meals off of disposable plates and cups, and, or off of disposable plates with plastic silverware. I have worked very hard to turn that corner with the West Marin School, Inverness School, but our district actually extends up to Bodega Bay, and it's amazing how difficult it is to actually change the culture inside of a school system. The one thing that I'm pushing for in the zero waste um, plan that is developed right now as a um, um, feasibility study for County of Marin is trying to get the people who are the employees of the County of Marin, who include our teachers and our firemen and our sheriffs and all of those folks, to cooperate with these grassroots efforts while they're on the clock and role model a certain way of being in community so that we can show young people in this town how to live a zero waste um, lifestyle. And I think that if we are going to be waste generators as adults, that we are really um, missing the opportunity we have with all of these young people to get them on the right path and do the right thing. Otherwise, we're just being hypocrites and we're out of integrity with what we want to do. In even this 350.org, it's like if we don't get a, a certain amount of consensus among ourselves as adults and and agree that we need to role model for young people how to manage our waste and not generate waste, but actually go back to the good old fashioned uh, process of washing dishes and not and bringing your cup with you to get a cup of tea or coffee wherever you go and bringing bags with you. These are very old world concepts that we actually don't need to dispose of those concepts. Those concepts need to come with us out into the new world. And we need to let go of the consumption um, addiction that we have with single use disposable goods. And so here in this, this area of Point Reyes, we have a lot of young people who know exactly what to do with these cups and plates. They've used these things for the last two and a half years because we've had, had them as part of our um, events library here in um, West Marin. And so the most uh, satisfying thing that I have happening is when I see young people showing the adults kind of spoon feeding them that okay this goes over here into this bucket and then we're gonna wash it and I think that 
it will be our children who are showing us the way but I think in this particular group of adults that we get it we know what we have to do and I think that we can do it um, the other um, programs that I support right now we um, I do a weekly radio program called trash to treasure and trash to treasure is it's kind of in the same spirit as the recycle circus and basically that's the the simple concept there is redistributing goods in the community so instead of throwing them away and putting them into your gray garbage bin it's really making the special effort to ask somebody else in the community do you need these books that I have or do you have a need for this sofa or this bed instead of us um, taking those materials to landfill um, but the other thing with um, the redistributing. It's also important to remember to donate materials to people who actually need them and you can go to your local thrift stores and you can do that with um, shelters and your resource centers. There are families who are in deep need of materials to, um, to live and that piece of it is really going to support people not going out and consuming and buying new materials. So the more that we can make available as consumers to other people to consume without purchasing brand new materials is um, critical and I always support that kind of activity. And I've actually written a grant for the Recycle Circus to basically develop that blueprint for other communities um, in the county of Marin to start, but basically um, we have a good concept that has worked for 16 years here in Point Ray Station and we have a one day materials exchange where we will, we will redistribute around 22,000 pounds of material, which is very satisfying. But if we had more activities like this in the county of Marin and throughout California and in the nation, we would be starting to role model um, a little bit more of what's possible as an American. Um, so I also um, support um, composting and gray water. Um, and those are all practices that I think are really, um, for some people they really are struggling with figuring out how to have a worm box, how to compost, how to do gray water. I think there's so much incredible education happening today that you just have to show up for and um, take part in. And the EAC um, and Fred and I have worked in over the last couple of years and run green team projects out here in uh, West Marin. And it's okay for us to not know how to do these things, but it is the time for us to start to get a little bit more proactive and stop being apathetic and lethargic about this and go out and try to take on a little bit more knowledge. You need to be a lifelong learner in this particular day and age because if we don't continue to learn how to do some of this stuff, we're going to be screwed. Um, I, I believe that. Um, so I, I'm just proud. One of the things that also it happened here today that I think is unique is we have talked about closing this street for um, a number of years. People have always wanted this to happen. happen. We have the support of the County of Marin today to close this street and we basically had a lot of different groups, Transition West Marin, the West Marin Commons and a number of other folks who all did a little bit, little piece of the heavy lifting and it was not that hard for us to put this, to, this day together and close this street off. And to me this is sort of an example of what's possible if we're all willing to do a little bit more to do a little bit of the heavy lifting to lower these numbers and I am always so inspired by folks that I see that come from this area and speak to um, I don't know just getting folks motivated and excited about what's going on but um, I just I feel very thankful to be a part of it and I just thank Bernie and um, Bing and Elizabeth and all the folks that have worked so hard today to bring this together because I think it's been a great success.